building on, on the passes that we did last week, so we're still going to do um, from closed guard. So similar to um, last time, we looked, we talked about how when I get inside control from here, and then um, Tron is making grips, so you either put a hand on the collar, or you need a grip on the outside of the pants, which means it's going to be like a flower sweep or a pendulum sweep. And I pass the lapel over the arm, and then I projected my weight forward into the south part of the passing position. I up that arm, and we do a pass. Something quite similar. Playing the game, I've inside control. Karen makes the grip. I'm going to make the grip on the sleeve here. And from that position, I just bring my knee back. Now if I keep my head away from the grip, Carl can basically just rip his arm back. So the detail is, when it, whenever he makes that grip on the outside of my pants and I pin this to the mat, I bring my knee back, but I bring my head over my fist. So when he tries to get that grip back, it's a little bit more difficult. And all I'm doing from here is projecting my weight forward again. So I put my head on the same side of the mat as the arm that I'm trapping. Go to the whole Salcaro pass position. Then he just passes his arm from my left to the right. Now the detail on this one is my free hand now is going to start pushing Carl's right elbow underneath him. So that when I start sprawling on to open his guard, nine times out of ten he's going to pass because there's a lot of pressure on his shoulder here. Now if he doesn't pass, I have a free hand which can push towards the ankles to open this leg. The problem is, now when I step over, he puts me in half guard. So we want to be thinking about avoiding that. So when I push that knee down, I windshield wiper my foot. Okay, so it's over the top. Now I want head control. So from there, I win the cross face. My cross face shoulder pushes the car's head, making him look to his left. Fill the space at his right hip with my left knee. Back step. When you get this done in you, it sucks. And you probably will have back issues. So just be careful when you're pushing that. The more you push the elbow underneath his back, when you sprawl out, you just want to open your guard. You get people who try to hang on, and then they're going to be wrecked with back issues. So. I would suggest opening your guard, but you have that free hand to push at the ankles to get it open. So we're playing the game. Kiara's main two grips will be the collar or the pants. Just another option from rather than using the lapel. So you just make a grip on the sleeve. I just bring my knee back. The detail is I put my head over my hand. Okay. Keep that in place for a second until I get into the south position. So I put my I get here. Passes in the air, my legs are wide, the base, and I just can pass Carr's right sleeve to my right hand. From there, I use my free left hand to push this elbow to underneath his back. So when I start cutting an angle and walking out, getting his right knee to the mat, just that sprawl on its own will usually open the guard. If not, my left hand can insist. And now from there, I just windshield wiper my right shin over Carr's right leg. My other leg's posted out. Now you need upper body control. So this free hand wins the cross face. My head comes from being on his right shoulder to over his left shoulder. And you put heavy cross face pressure on him. Now you need to fill the space at his right hip. So my right knee comes in as a back step. No, I'm in the side control. Probably from here, the go-to move would be the bread cutter because he's no friend. So, let's look at that again. So, from our position, Carl usually will make the grip, and sometimes you'll, you'll wait on the moment. You know, if he's not making that grip, I'll be bugging the neck and doing stuff. But he'll, the minute he makes this and this, I pretty much know he's heading for the sweep. So I make the grip here, okay? He comes back, head coming over my hand just to keep his, arm, his hand pinned. And then I just come up into the Sao Paulo position, lift my hips, tripod up, pass. 
from my um, left hand to my right hand and then my left hand pushes on the elbow. I really try to get that um, shoulder lock really tight behind his back and then I start to put his knee towards the mat. Puts a lot of pressure on that open guard or close guard. So now I use my left hand to push this leg over and I immediately windshield wiper my shin over. This leg is up. Now I need upper body control. So I win the cross face and my head comes to the far side. I'm gonna fill the space now on his hip. I don't want him shrimping and putting me in the car. I fill that space with my knee and then I back step. There is no bridge from here by the way, so they yeah, back step. Why? Okay.